Hello, this is uh, Dr. Robert Bruno again, and uh, today I wanted to talk about a product that seems to be hitting the market uh, uh, quite strongly right now. It's called Irish Sea Moss. Um, now, um, you know, the, the normal moss grows on trees. Um, it's a parasite type plant similar to a mushroom. It uses the, um, uh, the nutrition in the trees to uh, grow. Um, and, uh, 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 you know, you can occasionally find this on uh, the sides of the tree. But this is a totally different thing. Even though it's called uh, sea moss, it's actually a type of seaweed. Now, um, uh, seaweed has been used for years and probably even centuries um, uh, for food uh, source. Um, uh, if you've ever had sushi, uh, the sushi is wrapped many times with a type of seaweed. Um, also, if uh, you go into the uh, uh, Japanese restaurant and order their miso soup, uh, the broth in a miso soup is frequently made with a seaweed uh, broth. Um, so seaweed, you know, is a natural uh, type uh, vegetable um, that grows in the sea. Um, and uh, people um, in coastal areas will use this as a vegetable. Um, because um, it does grow in the sea, it contains a lot of nutrition that is contained in the sea. Um, uh, the um, uh, seaweed uh, plants generally are uh, high in uh, uh, iodine, zinc, magnesium, uh, many vitamins. Um, and uh, so there's a lot of nutrition um, uh, for uh, this uh, product on you when it's eaten. Um, there is so much nutrition in the ocean that it actually can feed a kelp plant and allow it to grow hundreds and hundreds of feet. Uh, kelp plants are um, planted in the, the bottom of the ocean and have to grow all the way to the top of the ocean uh, to get to the sunlight. Um, and so um, these plants are huge. Uh, they not only provide nutrition for the fish, but they also uh, allow them a place to hide from predators. Um, so um, seaweed is something uh, that uh, is a natural uh, uh, plant, has a lot of good benefits. Um, Irish sea moss is a type of seaweed uh, that grows in the coastal areas around uh, the British Isles. Um, and uh, this uh, type of uh, uh, seaweed has the appearance of a moss because of the uh, tiny thin leaves that it has. Um, the uh, benefit of this is because it is uh, so uh, small, it can be easily blended into a smoothie or a soup um, and uh, um, doesn't uh, give you a lot of uh, uh, fibrous pieces that would make it unpalatable. Um, uh, you can find Irish sea moss in um, uh, capsules, um, in powders that you uh, mix with uh, drinks. Um, uh, but one of the nice ways of getting it is in a gelatin form. Uh, this is uh, basically where they uh, will mix the Irish sea moss with um, some other product to give it a better flavor um, and um, also um, uh, you know, uh, keep it in a state that can be easily um, spooned into a smoothie and uh, um, added very easily. Um, uh, I've seen um, Irish sea moth with uh, watermelon flavoring, strawberry flavoring, um, and things like this. Um, uh, and of course, I wanted to uh, give a uh, promo to my friend Melissa Quinones and her friends. Uh, one of her friends um, um, is the um, uh, supplier of the Irish sea moss, um, and uh, you can reach them uh, by reaching uh, Melissa Quinones um, at their spa. Um, and uh, um, again, I mentioned Melissa uh, takes care of um, uh, removal of fat and also um, beauty products. Um, so um, I'll put the um, uh, website on uh, the video and uh, also try to provide a link uh, uh, where I can. All right, take care, and then I hope you enjoy the Irish sea moss. Like I said, it's the trendy thing today, so check it out.